Hello, hello, my name is Detlef Fischer and I like to welcome you to number nine of my cinema tutorials. You see here my Instagram account. You can, uh, if you have some uh, Instagram, so just add me here under Det1971 underscore and uh, here's always a link where you can find my Facebook. If you have any questions, so just go ahead and message me. I will be also very happy if you can um, let me know what you have created for my tutorials. So, uh, <coughs> yeah, show me your work. So, uh, like I said, I just explain you how I have done this one and this one because it takes a long simulation time uh, to uh, get this result here. That's why I just show you the steps now. You create a plane, 800 by 800 with 300 segments to each side. You choose out an emitter, the emitter uh, you want to uh, emit from your plane. You go to the emission for the test run, you just choose out uh, 100 particles. By the final run, when you are happy with your lines, uh, you go to the shot count by 5000. Um, this two here, follow surface and turbulence, you find under the modifiers for motion. The uh, follow surface, you throw in your plane, make the pull by 100, the distance by 0, and then don't forget to check on the accurate. So go to turbulence, choose out nice type by curl, set the scale somewhere to 600, the frequency to 50, uh, the strength to 35, and then you check on, select your uh, emitter and choose out a trail here, and the trail uh, you set to type cubic and the intermediate points to uniform. By your test run, you can set that by linear, so it goes, goes then much faster. So, and the uh, points by uh, none or something like that. So it's just that you can see the lines, how they are, uh, uh, where they are going, that you find a nice spot. And then um, when you are happy with this, uh, you go to your emitter, make the shot count by 5000, go to X particles to the other objects and set up an XP Kache and then just build your Kache. Uh, 25 frames will take between 20 and 30 minutes. Uh, it depends on your machine, so if you have a slower machine it takes longer time. Uh, when your uh, Kache or your simulation is uh, done, so you go to the last frame and go to your XP trail make a right click and then current state to object and this trail uh, this XP trail you throw into an XP spline measure so this is this one here make the size by one centimeters just throw in uh, just throw in your uh, the XP trail uh, spline and then you make here also a right click and uh, current state to object and when you have this you take this uh, object, um, the XP spline measure object, and the plane and your camera uh, to a new scene. When you have your new scene, so uh, it should look like this here. I go out of my camera. Um, <coughs> like you can see here, I have um, cut my scene a little bit from uh, the polygons what is too much so because you have here a lot of polygons when you see here uh, see here the whole plane so I just choose out a little spot here so it's just one part from four here maybe and uh, so your cinema will not lag or um, the render will also be very very fast so um, yeah that's in principle all what you have to do for uh, this one here and um, you give some nice materials to uh, this here and um, I don't know so I can show you for this one how I have uh, done this material here um, with this top coat from Grayscale Gorilla I made me two uh, channels with chrome and like you can see here or a match this is this side is copper and the other side I made a little bit darker and uh, each channel I go to the layer mask and choose out a gradient and uh, one of the channels I have invert the knots in, in the gradient uh, channel this you can do with the when you go inside the gradient you make a right click here and then invert knots so that you get a clean 50-50 overlay here 
So um, you set up some nice lights or uh, an HDR, so and then you are ready to go for this one. And um, on this one here, it looks like the particles are colliding to the spheres, to some of the spheres here, what is in the way. But this is not so. Uh, in principle, um, I can show you the ready scene here. So let's make the cloner off. Let's make the lines off. And let's make the one ball off here. So we can have here. Um, you see here the um, the plane. I have chosen out here, placed some balls, some spheres, uh, and connected them all to one object. And then this uh, the plane and this uh, the object here with the spheres, I throw into uh, a bool. And then, uh, like you can see here, uh, they're getting some holes here. And then I made the same process uh, with the emitter, turbulence, and uh, follow surface, just with the other kind of uh, setup for turbulence. And then uh, the uh, particles will not uh, go over the hole here, so they will uh, go on the side here. And uh, end of the song here, it looks like they are colliding to the, the balls here. Uh, other thing here, this one here, this light here, uh, it's not done with luminance or something like that. So uh, when you, t uh, I don't know if you know that, but if you don't know it, so here you know it. Uh, take an area light, uh, like you can see here, uh, this ball here, um, there's, I made here inside a little ball, and this is a light source. So um, I made this uh, sphere editable and go uh, to your area light to the details and when you go to area shape and set this to object spline and throw in your object so you have a light source so this you can do with any other kind of lights uh, object uh, what is editable or with splines so uh, to get a little bit realism uh, inside there uh, make uh, there a fall off and uh, so you're ready to ready to go then uh, yeah, this was uh, two simple uh, things here, normally very, very easy, so um, uh, yeah, I hope you have some fun uh, to create something like this. When you make something, come in contact with me and show me what you have done. So uh, yeah, have a nice one. Bye-bye.